Welcome, welcome, whoa. <laughs> welcome to Painting in a Word with your host, Julissa Miller. For last week and this week, we've been going live like we used to, but I believe next week we will be back to our pre recorded. You know, this whole week I've been sharing a um, life. Uh, what it's like to be an artist every day and the different things that you do and I, Today I have a different topic and I Want to put a disclaimer out there right now. I'm not upset. I'm not angry But for some of you I might come for you today <laughs> But I want to take a moment to just pray so if you'll bow your head and close your eyes or just have your heart posture in the right place. Lord God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for this time. I thank you for this moment of reflection. Lord God, you have called all of us your sons and daughters. We are your children. Lead us, guide us in the way that we should go. Help us to fix our focus onto you and you alone. Help us to not worry about anything else that is going on in us or around us, but help us to come boldly to the throne of grace, laying everything that concerns us at your feet. Help us to be in tune with you, O oh God, walking with you in each and every day of our lives. Lord, we thank you for this day. We love you. Please forgive us of any wrongs that we have done, knowingly or unknowingly. Help us fix our eyes upon you, Lord Jesus, for you are worthy. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So, fix your focus. <laughs> um, without further ado, before I get into the word part and start painting, Will you all please go ahead and take out your phone or on your device and wherever you may be, whether you are watching from YouTube or Facebook or what have you, I want you to take it out and share. Share with a friend, share with a family member, share on your Facebook, share, share, share. It only takes a quick moment. I have, I'm sharing it to my uh, Facebook right now. There I am. And I'm also going to actually copy the link and send it to my mom. My mom loves painting in a word. She said that she be needing that sometimes, just that time and she that she just loves it, that it's peaceful. So you all see that I have the jazz music going today. Okay, so today I will be painting Oh, I don't know why I tossed my phone all the way over there. <laughs> anyway, today I will be painting um, something really cool. To go along with our title of Fix Your Focus, you might be wondering what am I talking about? Um, a lot of people have been talking about uh, at the beginning of the year, 2020, having 2020 vision. And a lot of people kind of piggybacked on that saying just because it, you know, 2020 resonates with 2020 vision. But I also had did, I think, a painting in a word some months ago on faith vision. So recently, as I've been thinking about some things, as I get my paint together, I'm actually, I have my apron on. I should have my hoodie on under my apron. Let me just open it like that so I can get on that. Um... It was, it was faith vision is what I talked about before, but as I began to think, God, all this week and even past couple of weeks, I've noticed what God's been doing with me and I guess you, was, you could say in the people around me, people that I've been talking to um, about fixing our focus on God. Even uh, one of the women's Bible studies that I'm a part of sometimes this week was on priorities. And as I was reading it and thinking about it, I'm like, wow, God's really showing me 
how important it is to fix our focus on him. So as I get ready to paint, my painting today on this beautiful canvas is going to be a beautiful picture of like a sunset sunrise that I like to do. But for most of the painting, you won't be able to see it. It will be out of focus. And then there'll be a pair of glasses here that will be in focus just to kind of correlate together for you to see what it looks like. And I, some of you have heard this message before. Some of you may have not. But I want to share this scripture with you. Uh, let's see. I think it's in Matthew, actually. It is Matthew 6.33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Now, throughout this painting in a word today, as I paint, I am going to be breaking this scripture down um, probably in three parts and what it means. The first part is seeking first the kingdom of God. Second part is righteousness. Third part will be the things added unto you. So <clears throat> if you are painting along with me, uh, how y'all doing? <laughs> if you're painting along with me, I hope that you are ready. You can follow along step by step. We have a painting session this weekend on Saturday at 1 p.m. If you are interested, you can comment below or you can send me a message directly. But I'm going to go ahead and get into our painting for today. And as I am painting, I will be speaking and breaking down this scripture on fixing our focus and sharing a little bit of my background too. So I'm going to be using some pinks, some purples. There's my pink. I need some purple on here. <clears throat> I actually want to share this in my. Uh oh, share this in the. Here Just had a mommy and me session before I started this. So it's almost a little bit back to back. Well, the mommy and me session was really fun. I'm actually using paper towel today. I don't normally use paper towel. <laughs> <laughs> so seeking the kingdom hmm. what does that mean to you what does it mean to you to seek the kingdom of God how do you do that sometimes when we read the word of God and we're wondering you know, the things that God tells us to do in his word, sometimes you wonder, how do you do that? Now, I do believe in this scripture. Um, I do believe in this scripture where it talks about righteousness is partially a part of how we seek God. But I also believe that you need to humble yourself before God. Scripture says that before a, uh, the heart is haughty, before a downfall, but humility brings honor. So, I don't know if you all can really see what I'm painting. Maybe that's too bright. I'll turn it like that instead. Maybe that's good. You can't really see my pretty colors, can you? 
Nope, that's too much response. So we'll do it like this. I think that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I think when it comes to seeking the kingdom of God, that some people they say that they're afraid of like the Holy Spirit and I'm, I'm going, I'm just going as God leads me honestly today because as I, I've been thinking about fixing your focus on things like that, on the king, kingdom of God, people fix their focus on many different things. It's like back to your priorities list. What are your priorities? What do you think about the first thing in the morning when you wake up or before you go to bed? What's on your mind throughout the day? What are your actions? What are you doing? And a, a, a part of me is, is I think I shared on Facebook um, last week, is that I've been posting about our goals, different goals to have. And one of them for Thursday, I put on there, time with God. And I said, Although I normally have my time with God on the days that I know are going to be much uh, busier, like Thursday, I have to write that down and add it in because I know that once my day gets going, I, I, I'm not thinking about sitting down and getting, you know, quiet or anything like that you're on a roll you're going and you're not really stopping to have time for yourself because you're so focused in on something else that honestly doesn't really matter i mean it matters but a lot of times we we make we put priority on so many other things that they do matter, but they don't matter more than God. Let me say that again. Your children matter, but not more than God. Your spouse matters, but not more than God. Even yourself, taking time out for yourself, that's important. Your very most important relationship is with God. So when you fix your focus, that means getting into the word of God. Even if you don't understand it, pray and ask God for understanding. Say, Lord, I pray and ask that you will open my eyes, my spiritual eyes, that you will open my ears, my spiritual ears, and that you will give me understanding in my mind, oh God, because I'm reading your word and I want to understand. I want to know you. I want you to be my main focus throughout the day. That is my prayer. I want God to be my main focus throughout the day. Why am I painting? Why am I here? Why am I sharing this with you? I want to please God. And that is getting to the second part of, of Matthew 6, 33. First part is seeking first the kingdom of God, fixing your focus on God first. Why? Righteousness. You want to be right with God. It's good to be right with your mom. It's good to be right with your husband. It's good to be right with your wife, whoever it is. It's good to be right with the people on your job, even if you don't like them, even if you don't like the job. But how can you have righteous relationships if your relationship with the one who matters isn't right? Now, let me back up a little bit. We are imperfect beings. Yes, I know. We are not meant to be perfect. However, there comes a time in your life when <clears throat> there comes a time in your life when you have to set aside childish things. 
that is scriptural too. If I, I, find, I don't know the scripture off the top of my head, but I will add it. But there comes a time to set aside childish things. Hey, my mommy, my husband, and my mama watching. I love you all. And what that means to set aside childish things is once I was young, now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken. So let's go back. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Let me see. Make sure I got this right because I don't want to mess nothing up and I don't want nobody saying nothing. <laughs> It says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That is correct. So when you seek God's righteousness, that is not what you think is right. It's not what you think is right, but it's what God says is right. What is right by God? And if you don't know, that's another thing. You have to pray and ask God to give you this insight. Ask God to give you wisdom and insight into what is right by him. What is God looking for from you? And I step back and go back to number one. Because it's all got to do with fixing your focus. Fixing your focus on God. All these other things that I'm saying of being righteous, it comes from our focus being on God. It does, because when our minds are in other places, as I said, as the day gets going, you you tend to forget. And then you might say, oh, I'll just do it at night before I go to bed. But then you got other stuff you got to do or you're too tired. And yet we shouldn't be in a place like that. That's why I mean. That's why I'm talking about fixing your focus, because when your focus is fixed on God, when you write your list out, me and my husband just finished a devotion, too, and it said you literally schedule in your time with God. You have to, because if you don't, if it's not something that's already a part of you and you're used to doing it already, then you can easily forget it. Like breathing. Breathing is not something that we're going to forget because we need it. It's, it's a priority that's built into us to breathe naturally. You want to be so close to God. I want to be so close to God that my relationship in talking to God is like breathing. Like I cannot live if I don't talk to God, if I don't pray to God, if I don't have that relationship strengthened, your relationship with God should be like how, how you breathe. And that's truth, you all. That's truth. You might be wondering what I'm painting right now, but this is a part of the background. Excuse me. Okay. This is really pretty. I don't know if y'all can see all the details in there, but bring it a little closer. It's really pretty. I like that a lot. Pretty. Let's see, turn this light around. It's overexposing it a little bit. So I'm going to turn the camera back. I mean, not the camera, but the light back around this way. I got to paint off the light. <laughs> yeah, I think you all could see my colors a little bit better like that. Okay. Um. You can see me a little bit more. I like to stand. <laughs> and a lot of the paint parties that when we were, you know, weren't on lockdown, I would have a lot of people in the party start to stand up and everything.
Yeah, that makes some more for me. If you are just now tuning in, I encourage you to go back to the beginning. Or if you're still here with us, I encourage you to please share. If you feel it within your heart, your spirit, God is guiding you to donate, whether it may be a dollar, ten dollars, a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, whatever it may be. Whatever God is leading you to do. Now. Let's see. I actually do want to use black for this, I think. <clears throat> I think, let me step back. Okay. Because I'm like, what am I about to do here in this one area? I think I need to actually, well, because my glasses will be here out so then that will be in focus but everything else will be out of focus so let me Mixing my paint down here just in case you're wondering. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you. 
Fix your focus on the one above who loves you more than anything, who has a plan for your life. Fix your focus on the one above who Fix your focus on the one above who doesn't care if you wear makeup or not. Because <laughs> I didn't wear any makeup today. <clears throat> this is the process of fixing your focus. <laughs> I can say that the days that I don't get to have the time of God that I would like to, those are my least liked days. They're not always like crazy horrible, I wouldn't say that, but the days that I don't get to have my time of God in the morning or at least that time just, those are my least like days. I find that my patience is shorter. I find that 
my mind is easily more easier to think about things that really don't matter, you know, things such as uh, certain things of doing like with my business, honestly. And I won't even say my business, God's business. Because I'm not going to just have any more paint parties just to have them. It's about so much more than just a paint party. And every session, every party now has to have a God-given mission. It's almost like a painting in a word all the time, but not intentionally. It's just... I am done with trying to do things my way. I have been done, I should say. And I look forward to God's list for me every day versus me just putting my plans together. That's that's another scripture that or God laughs at us if we try to put our own plan. We're not the ones who make up plans and stuff, you know? So, just thinking about that and just how God is with us. Oh, a little more brown in there, actually. Wow, I'm painting this and it's beginning to look like an eye. Like the actual thing here is beginning to look like an eye. I want to say those are my intentions, but those are God's. <laughs> God's intentions.
It'd be cool to have a show like Bob Ross, but it'd be like this. Thank you. 
actually, you know what? Go ahead and put this on there. gonna lose our music it's a five percent I like that. Okay. Let's make this water again.
Everything is about shut up. Okay. We are almost finished here. So I want to go ahead and talk about the third part of Matthew 6:33. So I'm going to record this part, actually double record, because I want to get what my picture of my canvas looks like before I do to it what I'm about to do to it. <laughs> and you will know what I mean in a moment. All right. So I'm going to pause that. in the middle for this, but I don't want to block y'all from seeing. Thank you. 
That almost looked like a little man with hair and his nose and his beard. <laughs> All right. I'm going to double record myself do this. Actually, let me prepare my color. <laughs> I don't want to do it, but I got to do it. I actually wish I had another plate to put this on. I do not necessarily have enough room. I've been painting all day, y'all. Um, you know what? I'm going to put it right on here. Onto the tablecloth. I wish I could show you guys that's what I'm doing. Maybe you can. Let's see. Yeah. It's probably not going to be enough. I'll make it a little bit more. to make this very opaque. Before I finish, Thank you. 
all that beautiful, pretty skies go. Because that's what happens when you're out of focus. When you're in focus, you see everything. Maybe I should have had it up a little bit more, but I wanted to get a piece of the grass and the um, Everything else. <laughs> I'm actually going to record myself saying this on here so I can get this snippet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And if you don't hear the jazz music anymore, that's because... The iPad died, but I'm going to finish this out because I am almost done. I think that you get the picture here now, though, when I mean fix your focus. Uh, Y'all, I'm struggling. When you fix your focus... You know, everything else that was painted here was very beautiful. You saw from the very beginning how I painted the sky with the pinks, purples, yellows, and then a little blue. It was beautiful. It was really pretty. Then I started to add in the trees and like the ground with the water and then some nice pretty grass along here. But then you see me go in and paint over it to blur it out. And I'm not completely finished. I'm about, because I'm going to fix the glasses here a little more. Excuse me. I'm going to fix the glasses here a little more, bring a little more detail of what you do see. But this is what our focus should look like when we are focused on God. And everything else may be pretty, Maybe look fun, maybe sound good, but if our eyes are not focused on God, if we do not fix that focus, it can deter us for the rest of our lives, meaning we will never fulfill the purpose, our God-given purpose that he has for us, that he preordained for us. Before I formed you in your mother's womb, saith the Lord. That is his word, that he knew us. So if we don't fix our focus on God, we will not see clearly. It is a shame and sad for the people, not saying that they won't ever get there, because I have been here too. When this is backwards, when everything else that's pretty is in focus, but God's will for your life and his plan is out of focus. 
So I want to encourage you. This painting in a word may have gone a little longer today, but this is so important that you fix your focus on the one true wise God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And then all these things will be added unto you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and then these things will be added unto you. The things of God are good. The things of God are of love, of peace. The things that God has created for you to do, it's not something that Monique down the street could do because he called you to do it. Even if it looks like it's the same thing, there's so many other painters out there and I'm inspired by them. And I'm sure there's some who are inspired by me. But if we don't fix our focus on what God needs us to do, to be in our own God-given lane, just like every strand on our head, sometimes they clash, but God knows every strand of hair on our head and when we take care of it, doesn't clash. Everything's got its own lane. Everything has its own purpose. So I challenge you this week to more so fix your focus on God, what he needs you to do. That means by getting in prayer, sitting alone in his presence, getting rid of all distractions. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And even God's word says, that I seek you in the morning and make my request known unto you. That's one that I have on my wall <laughs> or had on my wall. But that's, that's it. That's all. Fix your focus on the one above and it will fix your destiny, your purpose of what you have, what God is leading you to do. I love you all. God bless you and have a beautiful, beautiful day.